There is a relationship between uh, the lumbar aspect of our spine and our pelvis it's called the lumbopelvic rhythm. Um, because the pelvis can move and the lumbar spine is on the top of our sacrum and the sacrum is part of our pelvis, pelvic girdle, when you move the pelvis, the lumbar spine and the hip joint can move. So here we're, we're looking at what they call short arc pelvic tilt anterior or what some people call duck butt and posterior when you're pushing your tush back into your pants. So let's look at long arc. So long arc is when your pelvis is moving. So in this case, it's anterior, but you're also having a femoral or a lumbar spine flexion. So this is a type of movement, long arc, if you're leaning over to pick something up. So you'll have anterior pelvic tilt, lumbar spine flexion, and hip flexion. On this side, we're looking at short arc. And that is your upper body is not bending over. You can still have an anterior tilt, but your lumbar spine will not flex, but it will go into extension. So another version of short arc is if you were going to sit down and if you anterior, uh, anteriorly tilted your pelvis, you would have an external or an extension of the lumbar spine. You would still be in hip flexion and you will still have anterior tilt, but the lumbar spine would be in extension. Sometimes they call this, um, this one back here um, on the right, postural hip flexion. So you're moving your, your pelvis into anterior tilt and it's essentially putting you into hip flexion, what they call postural hip flexion. All right, and moving into a uh, short arc posterior pelvic tilt. So you're sitting in a chair and you kind of um, tuck your hips under, and I have air quotes there. You'll be in posterior pelvic tilt, lumbar spine flexion. Because remember, a, flex, a flat spine is a flexed spine because the normal curvature of our lumbar spine is lordotis lordosis or a slight extension. And when you posteriorly pelvic tilt on, in a short arc, you're also going into hip extension. There is an interesting case um, when you're lying down. Right? A lot of times if you're doing exercises where you're lying down and you're moving your legs up and down, say uh, reverse curls or uh, leg lifts for your abdominal muscles. If you try to flex your hip here, but you are not engaging your abdominals, your rectus abdominis say, your pelvis will go into anterior tilt and your lumbar spine will um, kind of pop into extension. So here you want... Um, you you don't want anterior tilt with lumbar spine extension with this hip flexion. If you um, activate your abdominal muscles, you will reduce that anterior tilt and actually work on your hip flexors. And sometimes if people cannot do this, reduce this anterior tilt, that's suggesting that their abdominal muscles are too weak to do this exercise. And maybe you need to accommodate by going into knee flexion and decreasing that moment arm of the external torque.